Hi everybody, this is Patrick from www.engineeringshock and www.electroniclessons.com. Today I want to show you my uh, supercapacitor bank charger. This bad boy right here. So, uh, it's a prototype. I'm actually going to add some custom circuitry to it and a voltage display that can be uh, that can display the power supply voltage and the actual capacitor vol bank voltage. But right now, just a plain dollar store box. Plugs in. And uh, Inside, what we've got is we got a power supply, a power supply that offers, uh, I think, seven volts at say uh, three amps. I got it from a, an old uh, Nintendo, not a real Nintendo, but a top loader. Uh, it's all I had, so I wanted to. I uh, got it in my head to build something, so I took that. I took that seven volt output and I put it on a, a boost a voltage boost circuit, boosted the voltage up to 18 volts. Fed it into an LM317 kit, which I sell on the on a www.electroniclessons.com, which will take you to our eBay store. Um, which is then fed to a power uh, resistor, which is fed to our charging output. So let's close it back up. Actually, I won't close it back up yet. First, what I'll do is I'm going to power it on. So it is plugged in. Turn on the power switch. That's another modification I'm going to make is put the power switch on the outside. So the LEDs light up. We're good. But just to show you exactly what's going on here, I'll measure the uh, voltages for you. So um, first of all, power the main power supply output is 7.35 volts. I boost it up to... 18 volts, and currently I have um, 12 volts, 12.08 volts at the output, and I can vary that. I can actually change the boost up much higher. It's protected. It's a protected circuit. Right now, my capacitor bank is it's rated for 12.5 volts, but it's at 4.54 volts right now. That's a 12.5 volt capacitor bank. Uh, at uh, 96 farads. So, let's close her up and charge it. Okay, so what I'm going to do, clip on my positive. I don't have a black uh, alligator clip that's using the motor. Uh, if you actually look in the background, I'm charging two 3,000 farad capacitors back here. By the way, before I start, on electroniclessons.com or eBay store, uh, we sell 3,000 farad capacitors, 400, 200, 120, 50, 20, and 1 farad capac super capacitors. All for the best prices around. Check us out, ask us some questions. Anyway, back to the charger. So, we got our charger. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on my multimeter just so you can see how fast this is charging. It's not... It's not super fast, but it's pretty fast. Faster than my variable power supply. Um, so. And there we go. Roughly 10 millivolts a second. You might think, man, that's slow. That's pretty fast considering how much juice this baby, this baby can can uh, can soak up. So what will happen is, is uh, around 11.5 volts the charge will get really really slow which is actually really good because I don't like charging this bank higher than 12 volts. I mean it, the bank is rated for 12.5 volts but just just for the, just to be safe it's not a matter they're not going to blow up at 13 volts. But I want to get the longest life out of this capacitor bank. I'm actually trying to sell it for $200. And it's actually really good value because there's 2,120 uh, farad supercapacitors on there, which is a really, really good deal. So anyway, again, in our store we sell 120 farad capacitors at 2.5 volts, 400 and 200 farad capacitors at 2.7 volts each, used, uh, slightly used, 3,000 farad 2.7 uh, Maxwell boost caps, boost capacitors. 20 farad at 2.7 volts, 50 farad at 2.5 volts, or rather 
20 at 2.5 and 50 at 2.7 and 5.5 at 1 farad. All this can be found at www.engineeringshock.com or www.electroniclessons.com. If you guys are students, if you're a student, if you're a teacher and you want a bulk order for your classroom, um, if you want a bulk order and, um, and you're just a normal guy or a girl for that matter, just come on, ask me a question and we can work out a deal. Uh, I'm here for you guys, so ask us a question. So there you have it. Uh, Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Uh, in the next uh, few months, when I get the parts in, I'm going to upgrade this and make a new video. And uh, hopefully by then it'll have the wow factor. But for now, hey, thanks for watching.